ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਵਰਸ ਨੰਬਰ 70 ਰੁਣਾਨੁਵੰਦ ਰੂਪੇਣ ਪਸ਼ੂ ਪਤਨੀ ਸੁਤਾਦਯ ਰੁਣਾਕਸ਼ਯੇ ਖਯਮ ਯਾਂਤੀ ਤਸਮਾ ਜਾਗਰਤ ਜਾਗਰਤ ਸੰਪਦ ਸਵਪਨ ਸੰਕਾਸ਼ਾ ਯੌਵਨਮ ਕੁਸਮੋਪਮਮ ਵਿਦੁ ਚੰਚਲਮਾਯੁਸ਼ਯਮ ਤਸਮਾ ਜਾਗਰਤ ਜਾਗਰਤ i hope friends what all you have been is linked to you are also thinking over it a little what all you listen is borrowed idea what all you read is borrowed idea who you are is your original position wealth in fact in this physical universe so vast nothing is ours is not a stoic statement because in this universe nothing belongs to anybody everything we are borrowing for some time body is borrowed not your own creation you are living and a borrowed land nothing is yours everything is you no problem but don't try to own it never give your hand to borrowed things the moment you consider borrowed thing is yours you shall be miserable because that thing will fall off <laughs> bhagavan so beautifully all of you must have read bhagavad gita how nicely krishna says anything when you are enjoying remember me why mai datta na pradaye bhya yo bhumte stena evasha he arjuna everything has been given by me not to us to me personally the whole universe is meant for everybody parobakaraya vahanti nadya the rivers are carrying out water not to drink but to supply everybody else parobakaraya phalanti vruksha all the trees are laden with fruits not for the trees to eat but for the others parobakaraya idam shariram same thing this physical body also is given only for the sake of others you will see that nature is absolutely generous the trees do not eat any fruit but carry it for others river carries the water for others no except human being you can see that principle sun gives light moon gives light mountains give mineral rivers give water cows give milk everything in this universe gives 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 human species is so exceptionally stupid grabs 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 have you seen anybody else is grabbing only human beings grab 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 when you what all you grab is not yours but the moment delude yourself that this is mine you shall be thoroughly disappointed that's why bhagavan says mai datta whatever the person enjoys whoever enjoys in this universe nobody carried it to enjoy it it belongs to him so while enjoying while living with these objects while living with things 
if you do not remember the giver, you are a thief. I don't use that word, huh? I'm a good boy. I don't use bad words. Huh? Bhagavan says, your bhumte enjoys without remembering me, the giver, stena evasa. Stena means thief. <laughs> Mafia. Don. Why? You are working from your office. You got your monthly salary of 500 rupees or 5,000 rupees. And you are going by a bus or in a train. Somebody's hand is swifter than your feelings. He pickpockets. He picks your pocket. Before when you reach home, you put your hand in the pocket to get the money, the hand goes down, down, down. Because there is no pocket. The person who steals it, while spending it, will he remember Mr. Subramaniam's money, <laughs> Mr. Shukla's money, thank you Mr. Shukla, thank you Mrs. Subramaniam, what is that? Thief. What do we do? Everybody thinks, man, oh, Name one thing that is yours. Name one thing. The idea that is mine is the mine. As you mean friends, the universe where you collect, grab, and impose a sense of ownership and become the biggest thief. Some people are no more interested in material wealth. They have understood the limitation, they have been hit by it. They come into scriptures, education, subtle mental faculties. And that wealth of it, you think it is yours. Information, listen carefully, friends. You can gather information. You can pick up words. You can be a top practitioner. Practice is not the truth. Book is not the truth. Words are not the truth. You are the truth. Do not get lost in the wealth of information. I know what nobody knows. Who is interested in that? You must know who you are. Emphasis, absolute. Which what all you have is not yours. There was a gentleman, Mula, tell the story. He was in Afghanistan border, he was living. So every day he shall go to the town on the other side of the border. He takes his donkeys, goes out and comes back, goes out and comes back. And there is a border police. They have always searches, search for them because if the people are crossing the border, maybe smuggling things out. So he was taking their donkeys and bringing them, talking, bringing them all that back. And they were always searching and they don't find anything. But the mullah becoming richer and richer and richer. But the police could not catch it. So one border police, after his retirement, one day he was sitting in a restaurant in the border, mullah came in. Then he greeted Mullah and said, Brother, you are a smart coat. I know you must be doing some nonsense. Every day you are crossing the border, but we never could catch you. Now that I have retired from the police force, let's be friends. I am not going to spill the, beans, spill the beans. I will not tell anybody your secret. But tell me, friend, what were you, what were you smuggling every day? Mullah said, no, nothing. I don't know. He said, come on, I am telling you, I am no more in the department, I am not going to tell anybody anything, I am your friend. He said, simple thing, I was smuggling donkeys. <laughs> you are looking what is on the donkey. That donkey is smuggled, you don't know. You are busy gathering the things, you are the donkey. <laughs> 